What a beautiful morning. That makes a change, it's normally rainy. Let's go to Knock Hill.
Well, that's it. Lock Hill Track Day done. And it can only be said to be an awesome day. What a piece of kit. What a bike. Um, really can't fault much with it at all. Track settings applied to suspension as per the Triumph website. Um, or the manual, if you prefer. Because you can only download it. Um, yeah, really good. I personally found that the rear shock for my weight was a little bit spongy um, towards the end of the sessions. It was getting ridden pretty hard. But uh, yeah, it's all right at the minute. But uh, it does get quite spongy once the oil in the uh, oil in the shock reservoir gets hot. Um, obviously gets thinner. So apparently that is an own fault or an own issue with them. So you can get it revalved, which apparently makes a world of difference. So anyway, I may or may not venture down that path in the future. Still got the exhaust system to fit. First time on track with the Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa v SP V3s. Really good. Um, 27 hot these were set. Worked well. A little bit of cold tear down the left hand side there, but that's just more the track than the bike itself. But yeah, easy to ride fast. Easily keeps up with anything else on the track, apart from obviously down the down the long straights. It's uh, Loses out a little bit on the power, but it's not—it's nowhere near as frustrating to ride um, as the GSX 750 was. So yeah, really, really good. Can't fault it. The brakes were superb. Massive improvement of the 750 when I had that. They really, really are something else. And the uh, the adjuster here, once it starts, once they start fading a little bit, makes a makes a big difference. Um, yeah, couldn't fault the brakes at all. Probably. RST track pads would probably just make them a little bit sharper again. So anyway, that is that. Fantastic piece of kit. Kept it in kept it in track mode. Um, that was fine. Track mode was good actually. The traction control actually remains on. Um, when I got a dyno the other week. The traction control light was still flashing, even though it's in track mode. So you do how you can turn off traction control properly is if you go into rider mode and um, turn it off in there. Otherwise, it actually still remains on. But it didn't hold me back on track at all. It was good. Just my own abilities that need polishing off. So yeah, there we are. Awesome day. Awesome bike. Well, we're on the next one, which will be Donaldson Park in August. So can't wait. Anyway. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Awesome bike. Just mega.